funny, you know, I, I have to say, there's really not too much gore. There's a, There'll be some violence, but I think what's really scary coming up is the psychological terror of things like uh, Angie McAllister, one of our characters, being trapped underground in a bomb shelter. It's uh, Those things, I think, are much more horrifying than just seeing uh, uh, inside, uh, you know, people's organs, whatever. Although there might be a little of that coming up. Oh, yes, yeah, he is definitely, he has a screw loose, as we say, uh, that, yes, Junior is uh, unstable, but the question is, is there any truth to what he's saying? He seems to think that the dome is making people sick. Is that just uh, his lunatic mind, or does he really have some access to some knowledge that we don't? Stay tuned. Very much so, yes. You won't get all the answers this season, but we will definitely learn uh, a reason that the uh, the dome was sent here, some sort of, uh, and we will get uh, a better idea about who is behind the dome. So yes, answers to come. They can try, certainly, but you know, I never wanted this to be a show about uh, us versus aliens. You know, this isn't, we're not Walking Dead where the bad guys are zombies or Falling Sky where aliens are who we're fighting. In Under the Dome, we are the enemy and it's man versus man. So I never wanted it to be too much about them trying to fight to get out. It's more the stories about the, the conflict between characters. But that doesn't mean people won't be trying to get out. Very much so. If you've read Stephen King's novel, that, that's something that he brings up a lot. That it, it's almost like, uh, yes, that they are one ant hill, and this dome is like the magnifying glass with kids trying to burn them one at a time. So, yes, it's a, an apt metaphor. Absolutely. And that's a nice thing about uh, doing a show about a town, is we've got a few thousand people, and so even though we'll never be bringing in anyone from the outside world, we've got a really deep bench of uh, great characters that we'll get to meet. So, yeah. He's just the greatest guy in the world. Uh, I've, just, I've been obsessed with his book since I was a little kid, and I was worried because we, we definitely make changes from his novel. And um, But he's so supportive, you know? He is, uh, uh, he's really kind and says, uh, look, feel free to uh, take it entirely different directions. You know, just try and honor my themes and my characters, but don't be, you know, feel trapped by the book. And he reads every script, he watches every episode, and... Uh, yeah, he's the best.